Welcome back to the Budget Gamer channel. If you're new to the BGC, welcome. And if you're not, well, you know what you're getting into. You brought this on yourself. So let's get started. Today on the Budget Gamer channel, we're going to be looking at Biolab Wars for the Nintendo Switch. Biolab Wars, just looking at the game, you can easily tell it's a pretty vintage look, classic styled run and gun action platformer. And if you decided to check out a review of the game because you're a fan of those classic arcade style games like Contra, this may be one you're interested in, but it may have a few drawbacks you didn't expect. Starting off in Biolab Wars, we have a military that's at its wit's end and they need to call in some specialists. And in our character choices for this band of mercenaries, we have a selection between a buff or buxom male or female protagonist and a bioengineered dog. So of course, yes, I'm going with the Bio Labrador. Divided into seven major overarching levels, with a boss at the end of each, you'll be having a side-scrolling onslaught of random mob spawns, having to shoot your way through every single level. And while this is definitely nothing unexpected for any fans of arcade classics, each section of each level is timed to two minutes. And yes, this does actually include the boss fight, so you'll have to really push your way through pretty quickly to make it to the end of the level without going over the time. Thankfully though, each of those level segments is pretty short, so there's no real need for a checkpoint system. Additionally, your character was given a pretty forgiving HP bar, which means while there is no one-touch death mechanic, you do have to start the level over should you fall into a pit. Overall though, the general gameplay in Biolab Wars is pretty simple and is probably exactly what you would expect from an arcade style game. You can run, you can jump, you can shoot, and you can throw grenades if you have the requisite ammo. On that note of ammo though, as you play through each game, you can find different power-ups that change the type of weapon or the type of weapon fire that you're able to use. These aren't random item drops and are placed exactly in the same spots every time you play through the level. So depending on your own play style, you might find certain weapon choices to be more or less to your advantage. Moving away from the standard pea shooter, you can have larger bullets and even spread shots. But just as you can change your own ammo and your weapons tactics, so can the boss fights. So don't go into a boss fight thinking that this is going to be a standard shoot em up where you just have to dodge bullets. Every single boss is completely unique and has their own tactics. And just like each of the short levels, you're really going to have to work to memorize how these bosses fight in order to make it past. Moving on to the game's graphics, this is obviously an 80s, 90s retro callback with focuses on deep oranges and purples that bring you back to that era. And besides the pretty awesome pixel art, the game's music is pretty on point too. But getting away from the game's general mechanics, its music, its visuals, it is time to mention some of the finer points of critique. One of the first things you're going to notice as a player of Biolab Wars is the kind of awkward controller layout. If you are also going to engage with Biolab Wars on a Nintendo console, then you're probably pretty well routinized to A and B being the fire and jump buttons respectively. And as a system staple, it does come across a little weird and a little brain-breaking to have the B button be your fire and the A button be the jump. And again, while it's not game-breaking, it is something that definitely takes a little while to get used to. And other than that little controller issue, there is one other thing to point out about the game that some players really might not care about and some might really get hung up on. And that is the fact that the timed nature of the game pushes you ever forward with this imperative to complete the levels faster and faster. And that being the case, enemy placement in non-intuitive areas can almost sometimes seem a little bit cheap and do force you to play through a level as quickly as you can and really start to learn how to get through it based on muscle memory and trial and error. That being said though, the game almost makes it feel like it was more designed for speedrunners than actual arcade gamers. Now don't get me wrong, Biolab Wars is actually a really fun game and a great arcade experience, but it is hard to break yourself away from the thought that maybe the developers had almost a preference towards speedrunners than the average gamer. Thankfully though, Biolab Wars isn't an all-out speedrunner gauntlet, and each level does act as its own checkpoint, so beating a boss means you can start over at the next world should you die at any point. So in that sense, it does still offer a pretty good experience for your arcade gamer. But even for $1.99, sometimes on sale for $0.99, cents, do keep in mind that Biolab Wars is a true NES classic style game, meaning it is NES hard. So do steal your soul if you're about to jump into Biolab Wars, and please prepare yourself for some self-imposed frustration. It's a good experience, but it's tough. And if I had to recommend it, if you are a fan of arcade classics, if you like games like Metal Slug or other games like Contra that offer some pretty punishing gameplay, this one's definitely one you're gonna want on your radar. 
But anyway, that does about wrap up the review of Biolab Wars now on the Nintendo Switch. So if you enjoyed the review, or especially if you found it helpful, feel free to throw me a like or a comment, show your support, and don't forget to click that little bell icon when you subscribe to stay updated with the latest content. There are new and unique indies coming out literally every single day, so there's always going to be some new game to find out about right here. But anyway, this has been The Budget Gamer, so as always, thanks for watching.